Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, a professor at Johnson County Community College, and this short screencast will discuss the combo box and how to add one to a form. I'm working here in the Northwind database, and if I were working on this form, I might start tabbing through these fields and notice that in the country text box, it would be nice to have a drop down list of the available countries in the database to choose from. So, how do I change this mere text box into a combo box? Let's look at the back side. Let's go to design view of this form. The first step might be to select that text box, to right click it, and change it to a combo box. So now I've got a nice combo box, but nothing in my list. Back to design view. The country field is in the suppliers table. So if I open up the suppliers table and tab across to that country field, here are the values that I want to see in the drop down list. If I sort this in ascending order, I can see that I've got quite a few countries. I'm going to open up the property sheet for the combo box, and on the data tab, I can identify the source of the rows for that combo box. If I click my build button, I can click my suppliers table and add it, and then select the country field. And the country field indeed is what I want for my drop down list. I'll choose an ascending sort order, and there are all the country values. Of course, however, I don't want France or Germany listed three times. So to get every country value listed only once, I use my totals button and group the countries together. And now I have a handy list of only 16 unique entries. I will go ahead and save that query as QRY countries and close it and say yes to this prompt. And now my query countries, which is saved in my list query countries, is the row source for this drop down list. I'll check this out in form view, click my drop down list, and there's my list of values. Now, if I get a new record that's from a new country, Mexico is not on my list, so I'll try that. I can enter Mexico from the keyboard. That's why it's called a combo box. If I do not want to allow people to enter new countries from the keyboard on the data tab, we can say limit to list, yes. And then that will allow the drop down list to function only as a drop down list and not as a combination drop down list and text box. I'll try to enter a new record and try to enter Mexico. And I'll get the prompt that the text you entered is not an item on the list. Thank you.